there's not a lot of ordinary here. Good to see you guys here, especially early. A teacher in an empty classroom. Start with the good old attendance, Keaton, you here? Teaching kids that he describes as not necessarily typical. It's the kids that are in the AN program. Um, it's the kids that struggle with your, your traditional school. I want to be either a mechanic, welding, or a game and fish work. I'm looking into going into job corps and doing any of the auto programs through them. Fortunately, they have Tyson Hurley. I teach concurrent enrollment college classes for uh, Rapo Community College, and I teach intro to metals for uh, Sa Ponderosa. He's a guy who specializes in problem solving. How are we going to get these pieces to stand together? Make it beneficial to the kids and get them to actually learn something while being in a different room, being remote. Teaching remotely was not ideal, but it did make for some new opportunities. We can actually put a meter just like they would be doing in the real world. It saves them from making mistakes that blow meters up and stuff. It was also a chance to emphasize safety. Make sure we don't get our hands anywhere near that, guys. We've gone over safety a lot, which is probably a good thing. Tyson has learned to solve problems because in these lines of work, there are no shutdowns. As we learned in the last 12 months, we've been working the whole time. We're the essential workers. He wants his students to know that they are essential too. Once or twice a month, you're gonna see we're gonna start bringing in a college guy and they're gonna to talk to you. And the whole thing isn't to say this is the route you need to go. It's to introduce you guys into different colleges and get you guys a little view of different things. We can get these kids into tech schools, and this is the start of that. Get them in and out in one to two years and they're making money all of a sudden. They have a good living. Ponderosa has long offered these programs proudly. They're programs that are only going to get better this summer between automotive, uh, welding, and then wood shop. I think they're at $600,000 they're putting into this building. Getting all the equipment we need to actually run a metal shop is huge, and it's all coming from the bond mill. Long awaited improvements that will prepare the next class for a world where nothing is typical. It seems really cool to me. That's our goal is just trying to help the kids.